world is remembering a legend this morning. Lou Reed, rock and roll pioneer, member of the Velvet Underground, died Sunday morning at the age of 71. His death prompted reaction from all over, including from Russell Simmons, who said, quote, New York lost one of our greatest gifts today. Aerosmith frontman St Steven Tyler called Reed a great friend, tweeting, from Max's to the masses, you made the world sing. Reed has been called a profound influence on a generation of musicians. Here to talk about Lou Reed's legacy is Simon Vazek Levinson. He's the senior editor at Rolling Stone magazine. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming, uh, coming and joining Thanks. us on New Day. You're looking at, at a tremendous legacy. The guy experimented with sound. He wrote lyrics involving taboo topics of the day. The influence that he really weighed over, over music was incredibly profound. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Uh, Lou Reed was certainly one of the most influential figures in the history of rock music. Um, he was a revolutionary. He was someone who refused to compromise. He made art on his own terms and lived life on his own terms. For and didn't really care about the commercial success either, did he? That's true, yeah. He constantly challenged conventions, whether it was experimenting with guitar feedback or giving a voice to gay people and transgender people in his right. lyrics at a, very, at a time when that was really taboo. Why is he so influential? Where do we see his influence? Well, you can see Lou Reed's influence on a number of artists who have cited him specifically as an influence, people like uh, Patti Smith, R.E.M., The Strokes. But beyond that, you can really see his influence on virtually anyone today who we consider to be indie rock, punk rock, alt rock. Uh, the way that he sort of challenged conventions and did things his own way is a, a huge example for generations of artists. And transcendent of music also. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that'll set Lou Reed apart, and I was lucky enough to spend a lot of time with him over the years because he was very politically active, <laughs> is that he was more than music. Uh, Steven Tyler in his tweet, referenced Max's. Mm -hmm. That's Max's Kansas City. It was a salon effect. It was a bar here in New York City that artists made into just like an idea factory and a lot of partying as well. But <laughs> Lou transcended music and he would often say that the music has to mean something. That when it stops meaning something, when it's just about entertainment, then really it loses its value, becomes a commodity. And that's rare. That's rare. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Well, Lou Reed was certainly an activist, an outspoken activist. He was also an artist, as you mentioned. Uh, he was someone who was very close to Andy Warhol in the early part of his career, and you know, he was one of the first examples of someone who showed that rock music and high art could kind of be one and the same. And also the longevity, too, not mm -hmm. just uh, of his musical career, but as you said, the philanthropy, the activism that lasted all the way through until, you know, it, until recent days. I understand he was a big fan of, uh, of our guy, of Kanye. That's right, yeah. Which is interesting because that's such a juxtaposition in a way, yet not. Yeah, actually, that's right. Just a, a couple of months ago, uh, Lou Reed wrote a really eloquent review about why he loved Kanye West's most recent album. And that might have surprised some people, but I think it actually made sense. Yeah. Uh, like Lou Reed, Kanye, was someone, Kanye is someone who challenges conventions, someone who does things his own way. And I think that's, you know, Lou Reed kind of saw a kindred spirit mm -hmm. there. What was, uh, we know his influence on music, but what has he been doing later in life? Was he in failing health for a long period of time? Do we know? Um, well, he had a liver transplant this May, so we know mm -hmm. that his health wasn't great. But he actually, you know, he remained active. Like I said, he published that Kanye West review just right. a couple of months ago. He made public statements. Um, so this is certainly a surprise and a shock to everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, it was really great for you to join us this morning. Remembering a legend, certainly Lou Reed's influence will be uh, felt for many generations. It'll be interesting to see how his influence will still be felt in music. Uh, Simon Vosick Levinson, Rolling Stone Magazine senior editor, got up early for us. Rock and roll in the morning. Not, I love it. Not usual for these rock No, well, I think you get an all nighter, is my, my thing. I might have, yeah. Yeah, might have. Might have. Yeah. Some sources say. That's Thanks, right. Simon. Thanks for having me. All right, now it's time for our must see moment.